I felt like it was very important to do a review of this book because I enjoyed it so much and I was just very um, motivated to review it even though I'm just going to do a very short review um, but that book is Marie Antoinette by Antonia Frazier. This obviously is a biography of Marie Antoinette. Um, I'm not going to go into details or a synopsis or a summary of Marie Antoinette's life. I feel like she is a very famous historical figure. Um, even if you uh, know just the basics, even if you know the lies about Marie Antoinette, you probably know something about Marie Antoinette. You've at least heard of her. You've at least heard of the supposedly famous quote she made, let them eat cake, um, which obviously she actually didn't utter she never said those words um, but they're very famously connected to her um, but a lot of people already know about her so I'm not really gonna go into her life I just wanted to let you all know that I really enjoyed this book I haven't read a nonfiction work or a biography in quite a while and this book has actually been on my shelf for probably like I want to say like seven years maybe eight years ever since I saw the um, film adaptation by Sofia Coppola, I was really interested in reading this and so that's why I had originally picked up this book but I had never actually taken the time to read it. Um, so I'm glad I finally got that book off my shelf. I'm trying to get through a lot of the books that have been on my TBR for years, like I'm talking like 10 plus years. Um, so I'm glad I finally read this and I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was very entertaining. Um, Antonio Frazier has a way of really drawing drawing you into the story, um, captivating you um, with this very interesting lady who lived a very luxurious and tragic life. One thing that I really enjoyed about Antonia Frazier's uh, depictions of Marie Antoinette is that she really grounds Marie Antoinette. She humanizes her. She, you know, even though Marie Antoinette had flaws, um, she, she doesn't create a martyr out of Marie Antoinette and she doesn't try to demonize Marie Antoinette either. She explains that Marie was a very normal girl. Well, not very normal. She was Queen of France, but she was normal in the sense that, you know, she was taken from her home in Austria at a very young age and pretty much forced to marry the Dauphine of France and she had to learn all the rules and etiquette of French society and um, definitely the life of a royal because it was very strict, um, life was very public, um, life was extravagant. There's so much money was spent, so many levers were spent um, on just ridiculous things and they funded wars, they had funded part of the American Revolution. Marie Antoinette a lot through just like tragic circumstances and sexism of the time became this like vessel for everyone's hatred and everything that was wrong with France everyone put into Marie Antoinette and they blamed her for it. In many ways Marie Antoinette was the first um, historical character to really have gossip used against her. There was a huge propaganda machine behind a lot of the literature that was coming out at the time in France you know about Marie Antoinette and just just these blatant lies were made about her and a lot of people believed them and it was really the first use of like it was almost like a gossip magazine like how they scandalized the Kardashians or Paris Hilton in many ways it was kind of like that and except Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton still have their heads but I really 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 enjoyed this book it was never dull to me I, I think the hardest part especially for like an English speaker are the names because they are French names um, it, it's sometimes really hard to keep all the names separate and to remember all the different characters in Marie Antoinette's life but I found this biography very accessible I think it's very accessible to people that are just getting into um, nonfiction. So if you have any interest in uh, Marie Antoinette or just a historical character in general, I would definitely recommend this. Um, if you're looking for something that's gonna like go more in depth into like the French Revolution, you're not gonna get that here. Luckily I have like the context of like a fifth grade lesson of the French Revolution which I mean isn't technically I, I guess the best context for the French Revolution but like I, I understand some of the terms like the third estate and some of the historical events that happen. So if you don't know like anything about the French Revolution maybe like do a little research beforehand <laughs> that might help with some of it especially the like last half of the book. Um, but I just really enjoyed it. And then afterwards, I went and rewatched the 
film adaptation by Sofia Coppola and I really enjoyed it. I, I had a new like respect for it because I think Sofia Coppola really like captures Marie Antoinette at that period in her life which was like right after she entered France and right after becoming the queen and the star the um, slow decline that her um, reputation took um, the only thing I wish like after reading like the second half of the book when um, you know the royal family is taken from Versailles and they're pretty much kept um, held captive for like four year four or five years afterwards before they're um, murdered um, uh, I, I would love to see that as a film. I don't know if maybe there are some film, ad film adaptations of Marie Antoinette's later life. I think that would be a very interesting film um, because, you know, a lot of film and TV and just like pop culture in general, you know, really focuses on her life in Versailles. I would love to see her life afterwards because I found that portion very interesting because I never really read or known a lot about her later years until she was beheaded. Um, and it's very tragic and it gets really dark at the end, just kind of like sad because um, you, you know where the story's going and yeah, so I just, I don't know, I just really liked it. It was very informative but you never felt like you were sitting in history class. She always kept it really interesting and it was almost like you were talking to like an aunt or something and she was like telling you the gossip about her friends. That's what I would equate it to five out of five stars would definitely recommend if you have any other historical figures that you're like hey Liz this person's really interesting and I think you would enjoy reading this biography about them let me know about that because this really sparked an interest in reading more nonfiction about historical characters I mean I know there's like Henry VIII and like uh, Queen Elizabeth the first and I, I feel like I know a lot about like the Tudors um, so maybe some different like French characters or other European or just like other countries and continents in general. Um, if you know of any interesting biographies, let me know because I would really enjoy to check it out. And definitely watch the movie as well. It's very good and it's like there's not a lot of plot. Uh, there's not a lot of dialogue in the movie. It's definitely a Sofia Coppola movie. It's like I'd say it's like peak Sofia Coppola. It, it's all about style and just atmosphere and music and just Kirsten Dunst killing it as Marie Antoinette and it's very good. I like it a lot. I know that film really polarizes people um, but I'm definitely on the side that loves it. Um, so yeah, check out the book, check out the movie and I will check you guys out later. Bye.